Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're covering one of my favorite things to do in pickleball, and that is the backhand dink. Okay, so when you're at the kitchen and you're lightly dinking the ball over, sometimes you gotta use your backhand. And I know for a lot of people out there, I was in the same boat, the backhand can be quite awkward. It's really not very easy to do, and uh, until you get used to it, it can be quite frustrating, and I understand that. So today, I'm gonna help you guys sort of uh, I'm going to teach you how to approach these backhand dinks so you'll get much better on them at the court. Let me tell you just from personal experience, once you get really good with that, with these backhand dinks, man, you're going to be an intimidating force on the court. So let's get started. Okay, so let's first of all start with the actual stroke of the backhand dink. One thing that I did really early on and something that I see quite often is people will do this kind of thing with their wrist, okay? So there's a couple of problems with this kind of stroke. When you're doing something like this, first of all, the biggest thing is that when you're doing this, it's creating a lot of different angles, okay? So you've got your angle like this, and then you've got all of the different angles all the way up as far as your wrist will bend. The problem is that when you dink like this, you don't know which angle you're gonna get. And so you're getting a lot of different kinds of dinks. Some will go into that, some will go too high, some will be perfect. And that's really not great for your consistency. So the solution to this, instead of going like this, is to just cock your wrist like that. If you have your wrist cocked like this, notice how it's really hard to change the angle of my paddle going this way. Instead of look at all of this stuff going on. Okay, so having my wrist cocked like that all the way up until it's completely locked is gonna give me the consistency on, on these dinks every single time. And that is great, that's exactly what you want, okay? Second thing is footwork. In pickleball, you never want to hit a ball to the side, okay? You have to give your paddle plenty of room in order to give the ball enough force to get over the net. So you have to hit it out in front of you. The problem is, what if you get a dink that's way out here? Do you reach or do you instead extend your body, okay? You have to extend, of course. You don't want to be reaching. Reaching is, is really, really bad. Again. It doesn't give you a lot of control over that dink. So instead of doing the reach, we're gonna instead squat and get down and do something like this. Notice how my spine and my head are staying straight up. I'm not leaning, doing any of this kind of stuff. I'm just squatting and getting down. If you have trouble squatting down like that, just try the best you can. Notice how low I'm getting. See, I'm squatting down. I'm not leaning. And I'm keeping that wrist locked. And if you get a really, if you get one that's at your feet, let it bounce and then collide with your paddle. When it comes to volleys, it's the exact same thing. Just keep it simple. Keep it just like you were doing before. It's the same thing. The wrist is gonna break. You're gonna squat down. The exact same thing. Look at my squat. I'm really sore right now, so this is not fun. See? Remember that when you get a volley, you don't have to hit it as hard as a ground stroke because the ball hasn't lost speed from the bounce. In terms of drilling the shot, you can do exactly 
what you're seeing Ben and I do here. You can just dink the ball over and just keep, keep doing it over and over and over again. Remember to keep that wrist locked. Squat, get that squat going. And look, the stronger your glutes are, the stronger your quads are, the better squat you're gonna get. When you're done doing drills like this, backhand drills, later on you should be burning. You should be so sore you can hardly sit down. That's the kind of squats you gotta do in the sport. Who said pickleball was easy on your body? The other thing about this is that you can easily change directions if you want to. If you wanted to go cross court, you can do that just fine. If yet again though, keep the, keep the wrist locked. Same exact thing. Right, guys thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it i hope that was helpful remember that when you're doing your backhand dinks you got your wrist you got your wrist cocked you've got the squatting going your head and your spine are up straight up and down you're not leading over and stuff like that and you're working on that footwork you're hitting the dinks way out in front in front of you instead of on the sides if you follow those principles and you go out and you drill 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 you'll get really good with your backhand dinks and you will be a much better pickleball player all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.